Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Azure Resource Manager templates, also known as ARM templates. So the thing we need to know is infrastructure as code. This is the process of managing and provisioning computer data centers through machine-readable definition files, such as JSON files, rather than physical hardware configuration or interactive configuration tools. IEC comes in two flavors. We got declarative, which is uh, what you define is what you get, and imperative. So you say generally what you want, and it will guess uh, or it'll fill in the blanks for you. Uh, for ARM templates, uh, they are JSON files, uh, as we we're suggesting above there, that want to provision Azure services you want to configure. They are declarative, so you get exactly what you define. An ARM template is made of the following JSON structure. You should know the structure pretty well because you might see questions where they're showing you that code, so be sure you know all these parts. Schema describes the properties that are available within a template. Content version, the version of the template, you can provide any value for this element. API profile uses value to avoid having to specify API versions for each resource in the template. Parameters, values you can pass along to your template. Variables, uh, uh, things you can transform parameters or resource properties using functions and expressions. Uh, and I didn't including them in this, the cheat sheet, but there is a bunch of variations on uh, variables and functions, but I think that's practical skills you should just grab. We don't want this in a cheat sheet. Functions use defined functions available within the template. There are so many functions, it wasn't even worth uh, pulling them out and putting some here. Uh, resources, the Azure resources you want to deploy or update. And under resources, you've got type of resource, API version, the name, the location, other properties, which can be a, a bunch of different stuff. So there's no consistency there. And then outputs, which are values that are returned after deployment. So you can do things with them programmatically. So there you go. That is the ARM templates cheat sheet.